What's up? What's up? How you guys doing? Happy Monday to you guys. I hope you guys are having a great Monday. Hope you just got that energy. I know Mondays can be tough sometimes, but I'm hoping and praying that you guys are ready to attack the day. And man, I'm just hoping that you guys have a wonderful Monday. So I want to talk to you guys about a topic that continues to present itself to me. You know, this weekend I had the opportunity to go back to Clemson, you know, and it's, it's always great to see the coaches, you know, see the fans. But more importantly, it's always great to see my teammates. And I want to say this. For you guys that I played with at Clemson, I want to say thank you. Because, you know, when I was young, I didn't quite understand the power of relationships. And man, everything we went through, you know, it, it, it helped me in some kind of way, you know, be who I am today. You know, if you're at Clemson now or if you come into Clemson, I want to say thank you because I know that you guys are going to continue to carry out the legacy of Clemson being a big family. So I'm at Clemson this weekend, and, you know, one of my ex-teammates, Miguel Chavis, you know, we he was talking about a video message that I did. And in this message, I'm talking about how I figured out that life was about we and not I. And in this message, I'm talking about how I'm playing with J.J. Watt, and it's third down and long, and J.J. would say, cover me. Now, what that meant was, if J.J. went in, I went out. If he went out, I went in, and I had to cover him. And my teammate, Miguel, he was talking about it, and he was saying how good his message was, but what he was saying was, when I was at Clemson, my senior year, I didn't cover my teammates. I was selfish. And a lot of times, I was on third down alone, I left my teammates out to dry. A lot of you guys probably don't know, but, you know, when I was uh, a kid, I stayed in trouble. You know, I got kicked out of school in the eighth grade. You know, I didn't like school, didn't like teachers. I was ready to grow up fast. And now, in my older years <laughs> in life, those very things that I was running away from, now I'm running to it. And the very topic that continues to present itself to me is that life comes in a full circle. <laughs> like it's crazy to me that all I want to do now is teach. Like I want to be a teacher. Like I, I can't believe it. Like I would have never thought in a million years that I would want to be a teacher that I would want to be a motivational speaker and that I would want to have strong relationships with everyone that I played with, everyone that I met. Because at one time in my life, I took it for granted. And I ran away from those relationships, you know, being a great teammate. I ran away from taking advantage of the teachers and learning and trying to be the best dude I can be, trying to be the best team that I can be. I ran away from it. But now, as I'm older, all I want to do now is run to it. Life comes in a full circle. And as I'm sitting in class, you know, teaching these kids, the only thing I can continue to say is, wow, what am I doing here? <laughs> you know, now I, I'm, I'm finding myself reaching out to so many people that I played with, you know, whether it's college, other NFL. And what I'm finding out is that the power of relationships, connections, people you know, is so powerful. Like we are blessed to run across so many people, so many great people. And we take it for granted. I know I did. I want to encourage you guys today Think about whatever it is that you're doing in life right now. Think about what it is that you want to do for your future. What are you what, what are you running away from right now? I want you to really think about this. What are you running away from right now that you think you're not good at? What are you running away from that you think you don't belong? Life comes in a full circle. <laughs> and I'm telling you guys, that very thing that you're running from could be the reason why you was put here on earth. I need you guys to think about that. I need you guys to also think about the power of relationships. 
Man, all you guys that I play with at Clemson, man, I just want to say thank you. All you coaches, everybody, uh, 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 the friends that I've met on my journey, you know, from playing football and all those good things, thank you. Hope you guys enjoyed this message. Life comes in a 